Oh, God. Yeah, so I am the only gay, and there's only two of us here, right? Uh, just you, me, and the guy in the back. Give us a round of applause for being homos. <laughs> and hopefully you can get married from this weekend. Ah, 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 down in D.C. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about because you watch Fox News. You didn't talk about it. All right, uh, so, uh, I guess uh, I have to piggyback right off of Marty and talk about the first time I masturbated. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, so just to give you guys a little background of who I am and where I'm from. I'm from central Pennsylvania, and for those of you who don't know, there's three parts of Pennsylvania. There's Philadelphia, there's Pittsburgh, in the middle there's Children of the Corn. Yeah. And that's where I'm from. It's very scary. You, is that where you're from? No, that's what you're from, Oh yeah, it's scary, right? It is weird people. I, I, it's, I Thank God I left. Thank God we're all here together. We need to talk later about the Children of the Corn and the weird blue-eyed, blonde-haired devil children that live there. Okay, um, so... So that's where I'm from, and I also, I, like, like Marty, I didn't have friends that told me how to masturbate. I had no clue. I didn't know anything about sex, because I used to sit with a half-deaf, half-blind girl at lunch. <laughs> and so I had to learn all this stuff on my own, and do you guys know the top ten reasons I should have known I was gay before I came out of the closet? Do you guys want to hear them? Okay. Number ten reason I should have known I was gay before I came out of the closet. I watched Dirty Dancing seven times in one weekend, wishing I was Jennifer Grey. That's number ten. Number nine, my first music purchase was Tiffany. I think we were alone now. I certainly was alone. Thank you, Table One. All right. Um, uh, next one, people used to say to my parents, you have such a lovely daughter. <laughs> Number seven, I shared a Tyco racetrack with my twin brother that I turned into a Dickensian Christmas village. <laughs> it's a true story all year long. Um, number six, my last girlfriend's name was ironically Summer Wrong. <laughs> Sassy black girl from Miami, true story. Uh, number five, I used to carry a stuffed Pomeranian and he used to brush it saying, I'm waiting until I get a real one. <laughs> yeah, I was gay. Um, <laughs> number four, my first job was at a truck stop. <laughs> For the straight guys, if you're laughing, you are gay. Okay. <laughs> In eighth grade, I won the Home Economics Award for making silver lame pants. <laughs> Woo! Uh, number two, I lied and said I had a crush on Sandra Bullock. <laughs> what straight man has a crush on Sandra Bullock? I... <laughs> She's unfuckable. And then. <laughs> Reason I should have known I was gay. At least once a day, someone called me gay. So okay, so here I am. I'm in eighth grade. I had to learn how to masturbate myself. I knew nothing about sex. So every day I would watch soap operas to th try and think. I'll learn about sex from cricket. You know what I mean? From maybe maybe um Bajorn will tell me how to masturbate or tell me how what to do. So I had no clue what to do. And except I remembered my older brother had a porn downstairs in the basement in his bedroom. So I marched downstairs into the basement to, to find some porn. I turned it in, and I saw these two people fucking, and I was like, I hit pause, like, oh my god, they're doing it like dogs. Yeah. Oh my god, they're doing it like dogs. I, I just knew that two people got naked, sat in a bed together, and somehow a baby came out. I had no idea to move to have sex, just like you. I was like, I didn't get it at all. And so I was like, okay, well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna try it. So before I go into the next part, I used to be a makeup artist, and when the poor girls used to come in, I said, you need to exfoliate, and you need an exfoliator. They're like, I can't afford it. I was like, just use a washcloth and use it on your face, and I'll take off all the dead skin cells so that you won't have to buy an exfoliant. It's perfect. It's cheap. The cheap way to go. Okay, now back, back to where I was trying to masturbate. So I run into the shower, and I take a washcloth, and I start fucking it. And I saw in the movie, I'm like, uh, uh, uh. It's like in the beginning, I don't really feel much. As I'm doing this, I'm exfoliating my penis. 
I'm like going and saying, oh my god, it's just like that, it's just like that, oh my god, it's just like that. And then I come. And I was like, wow, that felt good. And then like as I was going down and I was washing myself, the minute the soap hit my penis, I was like, ah! with my raw penis. I couldn't even touch it to pee. It was the most insane thing I've ever done in my entire life. So after that, I waited a few days to try it again. And my parents had an RV. <laughs> and so, cause they, I forgot to tell you this part. So in my house, I have three uh, three brothers and sisters, no locks on any door, no no locks, even on the bathroom. I had to be creative to figure out how to, how to masturbate. So I went to our camper and there was a mirror. <laughs> And I sat on the bed in the camper and watched myself fucking like in the porn tape. And I came and I never cleaned it up. I was like, oh. all right, um, just a quick couple things. So I, this is another story. So I hooked up with this guy. I met him at Pieces in the West Village. His name, I know, it's terrible. It's a terrible bar. And he was, a, he was this really, he was this really cute actor named Mario. And I was like, oh my god, he's so cute. So we went back to his house. He lives in the West Village and. We hooked up, and he was really, really fun. Like, we had a great time, and then, um, and then he, we never talked again. And then I am sitting at my job, and I'm watching television. I'm like, I'm watching this weight loss show on MTV, and I'm like, oh my god, I hooked up with that guy Mario, and he's on this TV. Isn't that so weird? And like my people in the office, are like you hooked up with that fat guy. He's like, no, he used to be skinny. Yeah, I swear to God, he used to be skinny. I swear to God. Fast forward. Two years later, someone sends me a link to a website. I'm like, what's this Perez Hilton? Click on it. I hooked up with Perez Hilton! 